before driving off, there are different adjustments you can make for greater comfort and safety. The seats have different levers. One, to move the seat forward or backward, pull the lever upwards. Two, to raise or lower the seat, pull the side lever. Three, to tilt the backrest, turn the wheel. And four, to adjust the lumbar support, press the button to the required position. The height of the front head restraint can be adjusted by pulling it upwards or else by pressing the side button and lowering it. It is important to adjust the seatbelt properly. The shoulder strap should be properly centered and lie close to the upper part of the body. The lap should lie across the pelvis. Click the latch plate into the buckle to secure it and press it to remove it. The rear view mirror controls are located in the driver's door. To adjust them, turn the wheel to the required position, L to adjust to the left and R to the right. You can also fold the mirrors using this wheel. The door also houses the front and rear electric window control. It also contains the safety switch for deactivating the rear door electric window buttons. To adjust the steering wheel, press down the lever at the bottom in order to move it to the required position. Lift the lever again to secure it. The front airbag for the driver is located in the steering wheel and the front passenger airbag is located in the dash panel. In the event of a crash, the airbag covers open out to offer additional protection for the driver and passenger in combination with the seat belts. The bags deflate after the accident to avoid hampering visibility. Side airbags, located in the driver's seat backrest. Curtain airbags, on each side above the doors. The passenger front airbag should only be disabled when the ignition is off. Open the front passenger door to access the switch slot. Insert the key three quarters into the slot and turn it until it reaches the off position. With the ignition on, passenger airbag off should light up on the dash panel. If a child seat is fitted in the front passenger seat against the direction of travel, the front passenger airbag should be disabled. Do not forget to re-enable the front passenger airbag when the child seat is no longer used. Universal child seats should be placed in the rear seats and be secured to the seat with the seat belt. Basic restraint can be performed with the lower retaining rings and the upper retaining strap. Another option is to use the vehicle seat belt. Two Isofix retaining rings are fitted on each rear seat. Then fasten the Isofix seat until you hear it engage. Child seats with the top tether system have a belt for securing them to the rear anchorage point of the rear seat backrest. Pull out the top tether retainer strap of the child seat and run it under the rear seat headrest. Slide the strap and secure it with the anchorage of the backrest.